What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel X-Man and Co. Today you guys are in for a treat. We are making chimichangas. Now what's a chimichanga? Chimichanga is basically a burrito. The only difference between a burrito and a chimichanga is the one gets fried and the other one doesn't. Which one gets fried? It's a chimichanga. Now we are making chimichangas, let's get this show on the road. Let me introduce you guys to some of the ingredients that we have here. As always, they will be listed below for you guys to check later. We've got some beef broth over here, tomato sauce, some rice, jalapeno, avo, lemon, onion, black beans. We've got some sour cream. That's our twist. It's going to be really brilliant. You guys want to see that. We've got some spices here, some mixed herbs, barbecue spice, garlic powder, paprika and cumin powder. Two cheeses, mozzarella for pulling and the cheddar for flavor. The star of the show is this beautiful chicken breast that we have here in front of us. Now guys, these are three small beautiful chicken breasts. That's all we're going to need for today. We're only making three chimichangas and this is more than enough. We're going to use wraps today. Traditionally you would use some corn tortillas, normal flour wraps, that's what we have available for us today and it's going to work perfect. It's all going to be what's inside, the taste, the flavors that's coming through. That's what we're after. We're going to start off with our chicken breast. Basically what you want to do is just introduce a little bit of olive oil. Now the olive oil is just there to make sure that all the spices stick so you don't need a lot of it. We know that chicken breast is a little bit dry and can be dry. So we're going to do indirect, very slow heat today. So we're not too worried about that. So we're going to add some mixed herbs, some garlic powder your favorite barbecue spice, some Cuban powder, and some smoked paprika. What you want to do is just mix all of that. Make sure that you cover all the pieces that you've got in front of you. Be generous, cover all the sides. As you can see, we have quite a bit of spices on these bad boys, and that's exactly what we're after. They must be nice and flavorful. Right, guys, now that the chicken breasts are ready, this is the first step of this video. We need to move that over to our green egg. It's going to be indirect cooking, so we're going to use a convector for the guys that needs to know. If you want to use your Weber, you can. We're going to use both here today. If you use your Weber, just make sure you've got something underneath, maybe a bowl with some water and a rack on top where you're going to put your chicken. Once you set up, you want to close the lid, bring it up to temperature, 150 degrees, before you add your chicken. It's going to be indirect cook. Don't stress too much about it. If you don't have the bowl, you're just going to use two baskets. We're going to do low and slow about 150 degrees Celsius. That's perfect. It should take about maximum 45 minutes. We'll check on these chicken breasts in about 30 minutes. The chicken's going to give us just enough time to sort out all the rest of the ingredients we need for this beautiful dish. Once the chicken comes off, it's time for chimichangas. We're going to start off with our onion. Now the onion's going to go with our rice, but before we get there, you want to take off all the ends, remove the skin, and then just chop it up finely. You can use half an onion or a full onion. We're going to use most probably close to a full onion today. As you guys know, we do everything outside our doors. So you could use a skillet, a pan, whatever works for you. We're using a pot today. We're going to add a little bit of olive oil. Because remember, we want to make sure that our onion is translucent before we move on to the next step. With the onions, you want to add some salt followed by some pepper, just to give a nice taste to it. We don't want to overpower it with different spices, as the other elements of this dish will contain a lot of spices and lots of flavor. Once your onions are nice and translucent, it's time for some rice. We're using almost a cup of rice today. We're going to complement that with some beef broth. We've got half a liter here. You want to make sure that your rice is covered, and this should take about 18 to 20 minutes on the open fire. Then we want to add half a cup of tomato sauce as well. And guys, this you want to mix in nicely. It's going to really bring some beautiful flavors. Right, guys, now it's time to sort out a beautiful sauce that you want to make. Some guys might even call it an avo creme. So we're going to make an avo creme, avo sauce with some beautiful ingredients. Let's do that. First of all, we want to use one whole avo. Let's get this bad boy open. It's not working with us. There you go. We don't even have to fight the seat in the middle. So what you want to do is just give it a few cuts. Guys will find it's much easier to take the avo out like that with a spoon. We do it to the one, we're going to do it to the other. Right, so we've got a blender bowl here. So we're going to just add everything in there. 
Your avo doesn't have to be ripe. If it's medium ripe, it's also perfect. Remember, this is just going to make a beautiful sauce. Next, we're going to sort out the tanginess to the sauce, and that's going to be a lemon. So let's just cut it in quarters to make it easier to squeeze out. Got a lemon squeezer here, but guys, you don't need to use a lemon squeezer. You can use your hands, a fork, whatever works for you. So we're just going to go ahead and squeeze this whole lemon into this creme that we're making here. I normally just use a fork to do this, but uh, Co forced me to use this lemon squeezer today. She said we bought it, we need to use it, and I suppose she's correct. So, yeah, we're going through the motions using this beautiful squeezer that we've got here. There you go, there's the acidicness done. Right, guys, then we're moving over to our jalapeno. You want to cut it straight in half, long ways as well. You want to remove all the seeds. The heat will be in the seeds and we're just after the skin here that's going to really give us nice flavor. So you just want to cut it in small cubes. The blender is going to do the rest. Then guys, we're adding some garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder. We're going to keep it simple today, salt and pepper. We're going to add some sour cream, half a cup. That should be a half a cup. That's going to be beautiful creme. A little bit of water, just a dab, not too much. Then it's time to blend all of this. Let's go do that. That's perfect, guys. Have a look there. That's the consistency we want. Perfect. As always, make sure it tastes good. This, guys, is going to be amazing. It's got that tangy taste to it because of that lemon. This is going to be the bomb. It's about 12 minutes into the rice cooking on the open fire. And this is the consistency that you're looking for, guys. You'll see that after the 18 to 20 minutes, the rice should be almost perfectly done. You'll see all the excess fluids would have evaporated. So it'll be just perfect. We're going to give it another five minutes. And then this rice is coming off the fire. Guys, it's 30 minutes since we've put the chicken on the big green egg. So let's have a look at what the temperature gives us at this stage. As you can see, it's about 155. So we're gonna give it another 10 minutes and then these bad boys are gonna be perfect. Right guys, it's been 40 minutes and these guys, the temperature is 165 degrees Fahrenheit exactly. So we're happy it's gonna get another two degrees, but it's time that these bad boys are coming off the fire. It's time to prep our chicken breast. So we're gonna take some long cuts into it you want to make sure that you get bite sizes out of it. So basically long strokes and then go 90 degrees to that. Cut it into nice little cubes. Then you want to move the chicken to the side. Let it cool down slightly. Let's get our wraps ready. We're going to use the microwave. You can use whatever you want to do. 20 seconds will be perfect. We're going to start off with a bed of rice. Now, you know what a burrito looks like, guys. We need to keep the edges open because you want to be able to fill and close whatever is inside so it stays there. Next, some black beans. You want to do the black beans after the rice, as if you do it the other way around, it's going to be very difficult getting the rice on top of the black beans. Right, then our avo creme. You also want to be generous, guys. Look at that. This is going to bring so much flavor. Remember, this is very tangy, and that's exactly what we're after. Next is the chicken. You decide how much chicken to put on there. Bear in mind that uh, your wrap is only so big, so do take that in consideration. The best part of the show, some cheese. Press it down a little bit. We've mixed the two cheeses. So I think there we go. Right, now it's time to close this wrap. So we're going to go like this. Push it over. Bring it back a bit. If I haven't mentioned yet, make sure that your wrap is nice and hot so it's pliable. That's going to be beautiful. Next, guys, you want to use some toothpicks. Because remember, we're making chimichangas. So you just want to put it through there and just try and keep everything intact. Use as many as you need to. Perfect. There's our first burrito. Right, guys, it's time to make some chimichangas. We just want a medium oil here, and it's time to put these bad boys for about 30 to 40 seconds aside in the oil. So you're going to do the two main sides. If it's nice and round, you can do all four sides. We're definitely going to try. After 30 seconds, it's time to turn it around. Nice and golden brown, that's exactly what we're after.
Once you've done all the sides, it's time to take it off. And if you have more, just move on to the next one. Guys, it started raining outside once again. That doesn't matter, it's time for chimichangas. So presentation always is something. So we're gonna just make it a little bit pretty, but it's not just about the prettiness. It's about bringing extra flavor. So let's go ahead. Some of the avo creme, we're just gonna add that straight over all of them. There you go. Beautiful, a little bit more. That's fantastic. Right, then our sour cream, just a dollop on each one. There you go, just give it a little bit of a smear for sexiness. There you go. It's time to cut into these bad boys. Let's do that. It looks like a chimichanga needs a big knife, so let's do that. Right guys, let's go straight down the middle of this chimichanga. There you go, that was quite straightforward, very easy. And that's what we have. Let me just lift it up so you guys can see. Look at that. Hey, that is beautiful. We can see all the ingredients in there. Now it's just time to taste. Have a look there, boys and girls. That's what we're talking about. Burrito, but it's not quite a burrito. This is a chimichanga. Let's taste this beautiful chimichanga. Oh, it looks delicious. Mm. Wow. This is heaven. Mm, mm, mm. I'm almost out of words, not quite, but it's amazing. Guys, the smokiness from the chicken is coming through. The tanginess from the creme, the rice has got a little bit of wildness to it. It is amazing. The tomato is really coming through as well. It's just a whole bag of goodness. As always, you know you have to try it out. Guys, you know the story. If you like what you're doing, like, share, subscribe. Enable those notifications so you get notified as soon as we upload a new video. Thanks for watching. We cannot do this without you. We'll see you on the next one. Wow, this is amazing. You must try it. You should really try it. Mm.